Yo, what is going on guys? Alex7 here. Welcome back to another Test Drive Limited 2 video. And as you can see, now this video isn't going to start off with none other than the tour of the true- Oh my god, bro. Come on. This is how I want to start the video, I swear to god. But anyways, we're across the street from the real estate agent. And you know what? Let's just head inside because we're going to have to get- We'll take the information, deal with the insurance later. But I have $70 million ready to spend in Test Drive Unlimited 2. Okay, so welcome to the first Ibiza real estate agency. And actually, let's sell some houses first because I don't think I want every house that is here. So this is what I have so far. The yacht in Ibiza, Zenith Loft, these two for sure, man. I mean, come on, we're going to have to keep these. Uh, the Shack House in uh, Hawaii, which is the worst house possible. Uh, we're going to keep that. And we got the Sat uh, Jordi residence, which is the one, if I remember correctly, the center of the island. But let's take a look and see what house they have for us. And we can work our way from there. So, the yacht, we already have that one. This house, we're gonna have to take a virtual tour of it because I don't remember all these houses. But oh my god, how do I not remember this house? Yo, long to lie, Ibiza had some pretty crazy houses, guys. When you really come to think about it, where is the garage in this? You had a gym here. This, this is actually, yo, I do not remember this house at all, bro. Oh my God. This gives you so much nostalgia, seriously. Okay, um, yeah. We're gonna have to buy this one. So let's head to where. So uh, we're gonna have to buy these, this one as well. This is actually in the uh, northern part of the island. So we'll buy that one. This is the same style, but it's on the, Eastern side, I'm probably gonna want to get this one though instead, as opposed to this. So, we already got this enough off. This one, I'm not sure because I'm pretty sure there's another one on the lower part of the island. Probably buy this one as well. Seaside apartment, I'm probably gonna have to buy that one. I don't remember what that one is. So, now we own this house, let's actually exit it and go back to the real estate agency. So, the next one is the Calatiz house. I do believe this one has a nice view. But it's located on an off-road route, which is something I'm not really particularly interested about. I mean, I could have off-road vehicles here instead. Is there no way I can come out of this uh, window here? Yeah, see, it's backed onto the dirt road, man. I, I hate having to wash my car and make it look dirty after. But it, it is a pretty nice view. So we're going to scrap this house. I'm probably going to buy it on the other side of the Ibiza. Now the seaside apartment, I'm probably just gonna want to get this one instead. So we'll buy this. You won't regret And we'll it. check out the other real estate agency on the other side of Ibiza and see what houses they have and work our way from there. Oh, this is one of my most favorite views. Now I definitely need to get some uh, visual mods in Test Drive Unlimited 2 here. Don't get me wrong, like this is still pretty damn fantastic. But I do miss the ortho mod where it looks like a satellite and I miss the uh, greater and larger, vaster vegetation. So. Now that we bought this, let's exit this house here with our beautiful Toyota AE86 Treno. So let's take a look at the other real estate agency. And there are 10 houses on the side of Ibiza, so we're gonna have a lot to choose from. Sakala House. Now this was where the party was in the beginning of the trailer. Instant buy regardless. You I remember exactly it. what it looks like. I'm sure you guys remember too. The view of this one was spectacular too. And the drive up as well. I mean, come on, how could you not? Don't get me wrong, the fact that it's sunset right now as well definitely helps the case with the beautiful. Oh, KT, don't sleep. Add houses and test them in Solar Crown, bro. You have to. You have to. Okay, so we got all this. That's one of our houses that we're gonna buy. Now let's go back to real estate agency. Okay, now the uh, Evisa house is the exact same one except located near the city. So I'm actually gonna skip on that one. The next thing we have is the Kala Moli residence. Not sh quite sure, remember that one, but I think it's also backed onto the road. This one, I definitely remember, and this is getting purchased. You won't. I love it. this mansion. This was the exact same house style I wanted to see on Ibiza, but flipped it on the uh, Ibiza 2 area. And the reason is because the drive up to this house, if I remember correctly, I hope I'm not wrong. I'm pretty sure it is. Yeah, there we go. Look at that drive up. Your garage path leading down to a small little village there. You had a beautiful, beautiful KT, bro. Don't sleep at houses. You guys have to. 
Jesus, man. It was such an unrated feature, just being able to buy houses. It gave you that sense of ownership and having to have a certain amount of garage space in your house was just... Oh my god. I, I loved it, man. And Hold on. Yo, whoever designed this UI, thank you. I always... Every video after this, man, come on. <laughs> no, seriously, though. It was such a smart thing to do. Like, the weather channel, bro. You had your news station, that DLC for help. And who knows what other channels they wanted to add here, man. Atari, what have you done? The biggest slept on franchise by a publisher I've ever witnessed in my entire life. <laughs> and of course, let's check out the garage because I also love the four car garage in this one as well. One thing I do wish is that you could actually change the uh, stuff in your garage as well. I don't think you were able to change these exact pictures. Really wish you could. We got some soda here, a nice little uh, backlit place. Because there are a lot of pictures you can frame in here, honestly. So, yeah. Anyways, that's this house. Let's go back to the uh, same uh, same place. Oh, but first off, hold on. Oh my god, man. Even the natural sounds that this game has is incredible. Like, this drive up that you had to do to your house was actually incredible. You guys see exactly... Hold on, I'm definitely mashing up the side of the car, but... It was... Oh, man. I'll never forget PS3, honestly, yo. <laughs> I do miss this game, but let's go back to the real estate agency and check out another house I need to buy on this island. I'm not done yet. We're not done. We're not done. I just remembered another song. If I'm touching on it too. What was that song? All I remember it was Ancient Astronauts. That's it. Uh, <laughs> maybe classic, I think. Okay, so you also got the Lumberjack house, which I think is the exact same house from the uh, northern part of Ibiza. Probably gonna skip that one, the Refuge house as well. is similar to it. Uh, this one, I'm probably gonna have to buy just because it's a pretty unique house as well. And it's in where I actually started off my drive, one of my videos, Santo Ularia. So we're gonna drive over to this location. And come on, look, look at that. Look at oh. Damn, son. That shit just crashed. Okay, so let's let's just uh reopen that real quick. Okay, so we've now bought the house. We're back loading into the game. And the reason, the exact reason I want to buy this house, and by the way, I do think this is one of the most well-designed houses that they've done in the game. Can I, can I see over this? Look at that. Beautiful, nice little pond on that side. You got your little drive up. Oh, most of the houses that have drive ups in this game. Was that a sailboat? Why is it sailing? He's not okay. That, 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 that is going backwards, right? Like, I'm not, I'm not going crazy. <laughs> that is going backwards. So, we have that. The drive up, man. Beautiful. What's these houses like? Look at this as well. You know how many people I would. Anyways, let's not get into that. <laughs> Beautiful. Okay, so we got that house down. Bought. Uh, look how your gate opens, man. How could you not want a house like this? Look, look at the. Come on. Yo, the te whoever designed the house of the TD2 were pretty smart as well. Although they did forget houses. Sorry, they did forget to add kitchens, bedrooms sometimes. You know, it wasn't really the complete house. But this drive up was pretty damn beautiful. Come on right onto a beach so this is a tour of the refuge house um the reason i might end up buying this one is because of the view that you're gonna get compared to the other versions of it i do kind of like the height you get from it so and it doesn't back onto an off-road route so there's that too i think that's the purchase as well so let's purchase the refuge house and these are all the houses you i'm gonna buy in Ibiza. i uh, listen i hope i don't regret it you know how much money i've spent on you today specifically <laughs> All right, there we go. Some more collection rewards, another level up. Beautiful. Now, now that we've done this, let's head over to uh, Hawaii, Oahu, and take a look at some of the houses there. Finish off buying some houses there, buy some clothes really quick, and then we'll finish this up. All right, welcome back, my friends, to Oahu. T2 looks pretty damn timeless anyways. So, open the map, head over to uh, one of the first of many uh real estate agencies so welcome to none other the real estate agency my friends a lot of these houses i don't, I don't really need to remember mirror house is an automatic buy you guys know that one the black point house as well automatic buy you guys know that uh 
What else we have? This, uh, okay, I'm not going to buy this one because I want the one that's close to the city. Let's start off with the cheaper houses, actually, <laughs> and work our way from there. I think I'm going to order this house. Why not? You won't regret it. I really hope, like, you guys told me the same thing, and I need to get a new outfit. My guy does not look impressed with what I'm doing. And does this back out on a, uh, there we go, look at that. Very nice, small little house, you know, conservative, you know, not, not that much. Not that much hair. Um, it's actually a really small house. <laughs> it's a lot smaller than I thought, bro. But your garage is bigger than your house. <laughs> Priorities. You gotta get them straight. So that's that. Um, okay, so let's exit this and buy our next house, actually. But this is definitely one of my favorite houses. The second house you could buy, pretty much, in uh, Hawaii. So there's that. Let's go back to the best agent and buy another one real quick and it's right next to the track how would you not want two track cars and a house right next to the track that is actually the craziest location i didn't even know that that's there but okay so i know what two cars i'm putting in that i don't know what two cars are going in that garage okay so the next one i'm gonna have to buy is this one the pony village so we're gonna take a look at this house really quick i'm kind of just buying houses blindly at this point but i'm sure you guys know exactly it'll be worth it now Take a look at this beautiful vegetation you have. Can you go downstairs? Yeah, you can. You can. I really hope houses are in TDSC, man. Come on. Look at this. Got a nice little pond there. So I wouldn't really call that a swimming pool. It doesn't look deep enough unless I'm chopped. But you got your nice little road off looking. Nice little driveway leading up to it. Can you walk here? Oh, I thought you could walk outside the house for a second. But yeah, there you go. I also need to get some traffic mods in there. I don't like looking at these. Okay, so I'm actually going to buy the next house here in Kelo Hills. And we're going to see how much. Bro, I just about have enough money for all of this. Thank God. Because I really hoped after the 70 million, we kind of had enough for uh, a lot of vehicles. We'll take a look at this house. You are literally right on the road. There's a house right across the street from you. It's a nice little neighborhood. Uh, let's take a look at the garage, which I think you have to go outside for this. No idea where that goes to. <laughs> no idea, but we'll go to the garage here. Take a look. Okay. Not bad. Not bad. Again, I believe this one's a six or a four car garage. Probably four. I assume each one goes on top there. Again, a lot of posters really wish you could change these in the game. Unfortunately, I don't think you can. Maybe if you do your TV life and then go to the garage. I'm not too certain, honestly. I generally do not remember. But that is that house there. And let's buy our next house though. We're nowhere near done. Probably gonna go for this one because I believe the view on this side you of the island is. It. So we're gonna take a look real quick. I'm sure you guys remember where this is. And the view you're gonna get out looking it. Come on, this is why I bought this house, man. These two days remind me of what these houses look like. And you had a nice drive up as well. Can you walk around here? No, we're gonna have to go around this side. Look at that though. Couldn't get a nicer view than that. So the garage, I'm sure you guys remember as well. We're gonna go ahead and take a look at it. I love this house as well. This is actually one of the houses that I saw in the trailer and I was like, yo, I need to, I need to get this game. I need to get this game. So now that we have that, let's head back to the real estate agency and buy none other the mineral house as well. Of course, we have to buy that right away, right away. A level up. <laughs> And you guys know why I had to get this view. Oh my. That. Come on. Yo, this is just. <laughs> am I crazy? Why does this look so. Yo. I don't remember TD looking like this at all, man. This is. Wow. Yo, I'm actually pretty speechless, guys. That is... That is literally... <laughs> Yo, eating games to the night. KT, you have to add houses, man. You know what I'm having? I haven't driven yet. <laughs> so anyways, you have that, guys. Beautiful for the water. Oh, okay. Anyways, so you guys remember this house. Let me shut up. I actually get back to the tour because, you know, I'm getting a bit distracted here. It's beautiful. I think this was an A-car garage as well. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Anyways, so now that we're done that, are there eight pictures? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You could have a one picture for each of your... <laughs> okay, let's let's stop, let's stop, let's stop. Let's stop, let's exit this. 
Get over to the next house, man. I can't wait to see what KT do with houses in Hong Kong Island because there are so many places, guys. The views, I'm telling you, like you go to Oahu, you see some pretty nice views, but the views in Hong Kong Island, bro, we could get some crazy KT, bro. Don't slip. Don't slip. I faith you guys. Don't slip. You okay. Won't so, it. another couple million on the next house that we're going to be buying in Test Drive Unlimited 2. Take a look at this, guys. It is one of the, like, pretty much biggest houses in the game, by the way. And it looks luxurious as hell. Come on. Got a nice little view on that side. And let's take a look at the garage really quick. What am I stuck on? No, nothing, nothing. Now, this house was a bit empty, though. I'm not a lot of you guys. I do wish there was a lot more. Like, don't get me wrong. They look luxurious as hell. Yes. But, like, where's the kitchen? Where's the bedroom? You know what I mean? Now, let's take a look at the garage. Got your beautiful TV over there to the side. Some other books you have here as well. Trophies. Now, this garage did look pretty nice. Don't get me wrong. But again, the house, not that much, bro. It's missing It's missing substance to me. All it was just a big room and nothing else to really show for it. Coconut Beach House. I you love this house. It. It's close to the city. It really overlooks straight on to the actual, uh, the actual beach right in front of your house. If I go upstairs here, can we go outside? No, 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 no. Okay, but that is the view that you got. Um, also, I, I did enjoy this house more because of the fact it had all these extra little things. You got your garage over there, which is kind of funny because the garage is on that side, but we enter the garage from here. I'm not going to ask any questions, but yeah. Anyways, there is the garage you guys can see. And this has up to six cars. So now that we're done this, let's go ahead over to the other real estate agency and buy some more houses. Now, first and first most, we've got to buy the yacht. It. it has to be done. It has to. So here's the yacht. We're going to end up buying this. <laughs> uh, there are many reasons why you have to have this yacht in test drive living in solo crown. First of all, the middle of the house is literally right there. Oh, sorry. Right there on the other side of the island. It is right there. But the fact you had, you know, this beautiful yacht, and I have to show you the garage again because it is to this day one of my most favorite garages in Test Drive Limited 2. And there's an obvious reason why. Because it's goddamn underground. It's underwater, not underground. Same thing, I guess. But come on. <laughs> Yo, why would you not want something like this, man? <laughs> like, this is crazy. This is crazy. But anyways, so we got that done. Uh, let's return to the living room, buy some more houses from this real estate agent. The house I'm probably going to want to buy is the one here. So we'll buy this house first. You won't regret Take it. Take a look at this house, guys. Man, the designers on Test Drive Limited 2 knew what they were doing. It's located off of the road, literally right off the road. You guys get a beautiful look, city in the background as well, man. Your house is literally right above the water. How could you say no to something like this? Now, you have a pretty damn steep uh, <laughs> exit there. We'll take a look at how steep it actually is. And here's your beautiful uh, interior design. Let's exit, though. It's not a... Uh... Yeah, no, no, it's not, it's not. It is pretty damn steep. I can't even lie. Okay, so welcome to the Honolulu Loft. And there's a reason why... You're probably gonna want to get this house, guys. And yes, it is the same style as the one in Ibiza, but you had this. It just reminds you of a nice little condo lifestyle that you'd get. Beautiful city skyscrapers. Now imagine, imagine this in Hong Kong Island times a thousand. You're gonna have a ton of buildings looking left. You're gonna see another island across the other side of the, I guess you'd call it a river, ocean. I don't know what you'd want to call it in Hong Kong Island. Oh man, KT have so much potential. Bro, Hong Kong Island houses go hand in hand, guys. It, it doesn't make any sense to not add them. But let's take a look at the last house I'm gonna buy today as the game just crashed again. Okay, so the last house purchase of the day, I'm gonna buy a quick outfit so I can stop seeing the disgusting outfit I have. But uh, this one is located on the eastern side of Oahu and beautiful sunset is about to set in as well. Beautiful timing. Look at this. What a stunning game, man. Okay, so we bought all the houses we can. 
that in itself is done let's now change our outfit really quick and then we can end all this video i feel satisfied enough so i actually found out there's a store in unofficial patch that actually adds some of the clothing from the characters in Tesla Unlimited 2 into this game so i can actually literally wear uh, a lot of the outfits that i think a lot of you are gonna be impressed with you um, you guys remember the guy that owns this shirt what else we have here there's even the police the police one too so you have all these clothes that I've now uh, decided to go ahead with the pilot outfit because, you know, being an aerospace engineer and all, gotta, gotta throw that in. Beautiful glasses, now I got my hair, got my hat. I think, I think we're set. So, perfect. I'll uh, fits you probably well. fix this. <laughs> but that's my outfit for now. I'll just say, you know, I'm one of the, I got this money from being a pilot, guys. So that's how we're going to end off this video. If you did enjoy, leave a like down below and subscribe for part two, guys, because next part, we're going to be buying some cars and not just any cars. We're buying a ton of cars. We literally have, how much money do we have left? $54 million left. So it's going to be interesting to see how many cars I can actually buy. Like I said, guys, if you enjoyed, subscribe for part two. It is going to be coming soon. You already know what it is. I'm Mark7. I'll see you guys on the video. I'm out, guys. Peace.